Now that we got that out of the system, this is Shred, and today we're going to discuss why Animals as Leaders chord progressions work, what makes Kiko Lorero a badass, and how you can summon demon babes with your guitar playing. Of course, we all want to know the answer to that question. Everything I play in this video will be available at my Patreon page below in tab format. So grab your axe and let's get to it. <laughs> Now this first question is from Mafu. Why does the intro chord progression to an infinite regression by Animals as Leaders work, even though it has many notes out of key? Well, that's a good question. And really, even though there's a lot of technique going on, the chord progression is pretty basic. You've got an F sharp minor to a D. And then an E flat, back to an F sharp. But he has this little sequence going through it, right? I'm just playing the chords, not all of his fancy thumping technique. Double jointed. The reason this progression works is because, first of all, most of the chords are in the key. The F-sharp minor, that's, that'd be the one. And then moving to the sixth chord, or the D. Now this E-flat is out of key. But then you're right back into F-sharp minor. But this descending second sequence is what ties everything together. So our ears hear that as connecting seemingly unrelated chords. Come on guys, it's not rocket science. Come on, it's not music theory. <laughs> this next question is from Richard Pate, a name I can actually pronounce. Richard says, what string gauge do you prefer and what brand of strings? Well, every time I try another set of strings, it just never works for me. I always come back to elixirs. 9 through 42 gauge. And these strings have a coating on them that just lasts forever. I hate changing strings. It's the nickel-plated steel nano web. But then for my 7th string, on my 7th string guitar, I use this custom Ernie Ball 58 gauge. But I'm not an SRV piano wire kind of guy. You know, Stevie Ray Vaughan would use 13 gauge strings. And there's definitely a sound to that. But as more of a shred guitar player, I don't like to fight the instrument any more than I have to. You do what I tell you. When you eat all the pizza. <laughs> All right, next question. Get to the Choppa as tips on making beautiful sounding chord progressions. Well, that's a great question. My first tip for making beautiful chord progressions is pedal tones. And a pedal tone is just a repeated note. chords, it's the low E that's the pedal tone here, and that really ties everything together. The whole point of this exercise is to make sure the chords share a common thread, and that's the purpose of the pedal tone. Death metal. I believe you mean progressive black and thrash metal. <laughs> All right, Uni PSP asks, how can I summon demon babes? What can I incorporate to my playing slash songwriting to get a dark but sexy sound? My first piece of advice is just listen to Pantera. Dimebag Daryl's riffs and leads really have this undercurrent an undertone of sexuality. And this comes from his blues influences. So it's not just heavy riffs, he's got really 
uh, sexy subtext happening in his lead lines. <laughs> Things like vibrato and string bending will really help you create more of a sensual vibe in your playing as well. It's almost like you can't help it when you bend strings, you have to feel it. I don't want to be negative, but he's my type. <laughs> Who are three of your favorite guitarists and which solos of theirs especially tickle your fancy? Well, everybody likes getting tickled. Oh. Well, this is a tough question and it's gonna change depending on the day you ask me. But for today, Number three, I'm gonna go with Guthrie Govan. Number two, Michael Romeo from Symphony X. And number one, Kiko Lorero of Megadeth. Now all these guys are ridiculous, of course, but I think Kiko Lorero really represents the standard for a metal guitarist these days. Brilliant technical mastery. He's also an accomplished songwriter and composer. He brings a lot of outside influences into the metal genre, like jazz and Brazilian music. He's also a multi-instrumentalist, a uh, great piano player as well. Very adept at fingerstyle playing. And on top of that, his ability to perform in front of an audience is unreal. A lot of people don't realize how important this part is. You can be an amazing player, but if you don't look like you're having a good time and can thrash about on stage, no one really wants to see you play. Now, if I had to choose one of his solos that really stood out to me, I would say the entire song uh, Infermo off No Gravity. That was his solo record released in, I think, 2003. I remember getting that when it came out, listening to it, and just that first track just shattered my mind. Brandon S. I'd like to check out different tapping techniques, the rules of it all, what can be tapped over, that sort of thing. Well, the secret to making any guitar technique sounding good, not just tapping, is to outline a pleasing chord progression. You could uh, do a, a B minor chord, or actually it's B minor seven. You know, it's not just going up a scale. I'm actually thinking about outlining a chord, or maybe uh, you could do a major seven one. Another fun thing, actually, this comes back to Tosin Abasi uh, using two finger or two hand tapping here. Like this sort of pattern here. It's an A minor seven, but it goes A E C G. So the point I'm trying to make is tapping sounds good only if you're making some musical sense with it, and that's that's really the only rule. Here's a fun diminished one. Pabby asks, what Shred's biggest goal in life at the moment? Well, Pabby, um, growing my social media presence is very important to me. Uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Trying to figure out how to give you guys more value. Uh, I'm working on my ultimate music theory course. It's kind of like Rick Beato's Beato book. It'll contain everything that I think on any given musical topic or my approach to that topic. 20th century harmony, chords, scales, key signatures, all the music theory stuff, but also guitar technique. Other than that, I do have one more goal, and that's to destroy the universe with evil chords. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any questions for me, Shredmaster Scott, aka Shred, leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you soon. Shred till you're dead. <laughs> so you play guitar. All the girls must love you. <laughs>